I'm just so proud to have come up with them, you know? I didn't really come up with them, but to just see where it was from the beginning and where it is now, it's really cool to see. Hi everyone, my name is Rosemary Guess, as a lot of people know me, and I am on the set of Recruiter's Mission First. From sucking dick and curling dicks and squatting dicks, it's just an all dick ratio. Vet TV has definitely grown so much since I first started with them. I think it was about three years ago I did my first show for Department of Offense and it may be my most known role. <laughs> it was on Webcam Virgin. I'm just a webcam virgin. And it was me, Donnie O'Malley, and Christopher Michael. It was just like two people. It was just a really small little thing. I, I was excited about it, a little nervous, because every single time you go on to a new set, you have no idea what to expect. And as an actor, it's a little, like you're a little like, when it's a smaller thing, you're like, hmm. And also, that was my first topless role as well. So I was like, hmm, am I making the right decision doing this? Have a nice life. No, 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 no. Mommy, don't go. Papi Chulo's not done yet. It ended up being really quick and easy, and it was really fun. I mean, I chose to do that role because I thought the writing was really good, and I thought it was really fucking funny. And the next time I came on, because besides the shop and recruiters, I've come in on cameos here and there, like a day player. And each time I come in, it's just like, bam! It's even more professional than the time I came in before. And like, bam! You can just tell that there's, as more subscribers subscribe to Vet TV, and Vet TV has more of a budget to make these look and sound and feel as authentic as possible. But won't they send me to jail? It if I, if I lie? Trust me. If you don't tell them, they'll never know. Every single set I've been on, Vet TV hires people who have served. And so I've heard so many stories. I am just so stunned and shocked at some of the things that I've heard. <laughs> I try to like, take in my own, traumatic <laughs> my own traumatic experiences. You know, they may not be the exact same, but they were traumatic to me, so I kind of bring that in. You know what might actually help? <laughs> Is if you sent me a glass of wine, because I enjoy a nice glass of Pinot after getting fucked. <laughs> What it all comes down to is we are all human beings. And I may not have served, but I have had a lot of acting training, so I boil it down to that we're human. So what are my motivations for needing to hit these numbers? What are my motivations for needing to climb to the top of the ladder? You ladies like getting fucked? If we're getting paid. Thank God we have Justice and Jennifer Lynn on set who uh, have served and know how the uniform looks because this is really hard to put on straight. And what I learned about female uniforms is that we don't have pockets the way that men do. So when men put on their medals and their name tag, they have something to line it up with. With women, we don't. So it makes it a lot more difficult. Um, and then I also learned that recruiters are the only ones that have name tags. Wellington? You're a boot. I have socks with more time in the Marines than you do. Whether or not you're actually overseas or whether you're in an office such as this, the specific um, training that you go through, jargon. What are you? Are you an 031875? Yes. That's not a thing, dick. It's so specific that to reach out to people that understand that is so important to uh, making social connection and to have a reason to keep on living. All right, if you feel like shit, chances are they do too. Reach out, save a life. I think it's so beautiful and it actually helps me as a civilian. It reminds me when I look at Vet TV's Instagram and I love it and I also love dark humor. I may not have served, but I had a dark 
And I have some darkness and some trauma. And so I love dark comedy. That makes me laugh. It makes me feel understood. And I hope that it makes you feel understood as well. Fuck. There goes my quota. If you are on the fence about subscribing, I say just do it. It's $5 and there's so many different frivolous things that we spend $5 on throughout the week. And I'm sure you can sacrifice one cup of coffee to get content that's curated just for you that nobody else may understand. And it is an entire community on there where you can comment uh, on the website and interact with people that, that know this world. Why would you not want to be part of this community that's specially curated for you? If you subscribe, it helps other veterans to continue creating content that uh, will even suit you more. And I guarantee that you will laugh. So come laugh with us because laughing is better than killing yourself. I'm out. Tell Master Sergeant I'm doing community week. You answer with every the fuck. So subscribe today only on veterantv.com.